Good morning, and welcome to this, our celebration of the Holy Mass, the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Monsignor Michael Champ, pastor and bishop of the Old Catholic Church of Antioch in Tucson. Welcome. We begin with our opening hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Early in the morning our song shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy works shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Our entrance antiphon this morning comes from Psalm 66. May all the earth give you worship and praise and break into song into your name, O God, most high. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Let us begin as we always do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In order to celebrate our sacred mystery, let us, celebrate, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. In Adam's sin, the gates of heaven were closed, and we were made one with God and heirs to the kingdom of heaven in our baptism. We are thankful for our redemption. May Almighty God forgive you your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us now turn to the Liturgy of the Word. We pray today for the gift of peace. Almighty and ever-present Father, your watchful care reaches from end to end and orders all things in such power that even the tensions and tragedies of sin cannot frustrate your loving plans. Help us embrace your will. Give us your strength to follow your call so that your truth may live in our hearts and reflect peace to those who believe in your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In our first reading from Samuel, we hear that Samuel is one of the great prophets of the Hebrews anointed by da who anointed David as king of Israel. By setting down this beautiful tradition, the author relates Samuel's works and his life directly to a call from Almighty God. God's word is clear. All of us must be faithful to our call in life, whether to be single, have a family, or to minister the gospel. Hear now these words from the Old Testament book of Samuel. Samuel was sleeping in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of, the God, had, or the ark of God had been placed. The Lord called to Samuel, who answered, Here I am. Samuel ran to Eli and said, Here I am. You called me. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. So we went back to sleep. Again the Lord called Samuel, who roused and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me. But Eli said again, I did not call you. My son, go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed anything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am, you called me. <coughs> 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 
Then Eli understood the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Samuel went to sleep again, and the Lord came and revealed his presence and called. And Samuel said, Lord, speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel matured, and the Lord is with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. All of Israel came to know that Samuel was trustworthy as a prophet of the word. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Join me. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I have walked, waited for the Lord. And he stooped toward me and heard my cry. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O God, and it is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. <coughs> Our second reading from Corinthians, we hear Paul's use of the word body, which stands for the whole person. In this reading, he gives reasons for living morally responsible. As members of Christ's body, we belong to him in faith and baptism and should be faithful in our baptismal commitment. Hear now Paul's words. Brothers and sisters, the body is not for immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord is for the body. God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Did you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? But whoever is joined to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. <coughs> Avoid immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the immoral, immoral person sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, whom you have from God? For you have been purchased at a price, therefore glorify God in your body. This too is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us prepare now for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Join me. Alleluia. 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 We have found the Messiah, Jesus Christ, who brings us truth and grace. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, and I may worthy proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you, a reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. <coughs> John the Baptist was standing with two of his disciples, and he watched Jesus walk by and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he had said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said, For whom are you looking? They said, Rabbi which is translated teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, come and you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying and they remained with him that day. About four in the afternoon, Andrew, the brother of Simon, Peter, called, heard John and followed Jesus too. But first he found his own brother Simon and told him, we have found the Messiah. Then he brought him to Jesus, who said to him, you are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Saphos. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Come and you will see. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all receive an individual call from God Almighty who bids us do his will on this earth. It might be in the service of the Lord as a preacher of the gospel. Very few are called to this mission. But when they are called, they are given special credentials from God. They are given a blessing to do his will in a very special way. But the majority of us do not have that option. The majority of people, either single or married, pursue careers in the secular world. This too is a call from God, for we are called to interact with one another in our profession, and in doing so, give witness to our belief in Jesus Christ to put forth his tenets of love for God and love for neighbor in everything that we do. Let us be confident that in everything that we do, whether it be in the ministry or as secular individuals in the world, we are called to be God's people. God love you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join together now and proclaim, proclaim our faith. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him and for all things, excuse me, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Earth has given us this bread, and human hands have made it, and it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mystery of the mingling of this water and wine, help us to share in the divinity of Christ humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice that we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. I will wash my hands among the innocents and accomplish your altar, O Lord. I hear the voice of your praise and tell of all your wondrous works. I 
I've loved, O oh Lord, the beauty of your house, the place where your glory dwells. Take not away my soul, O oh God, with the wicked, or my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities and filled with gifts. But as for me, I have walked in my innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. The churches I will bless you, O oh Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my guilt. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and that of all his church. Father, may we celebrate the Holy Eucharist with reverence and love. For when we proclaim the death of the Lord, you continue the work of his redemption, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right for him to give us thanks for it is right for us to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his cross and resurrection he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory, which has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your works, and so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> Father, we acknowledge your greatness, all your actions, show your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own likeness and set us over the whole world to serve you, our creator, and rule over all creatures. Even when we disobeyed you and lost your friendship, did not abandon us to the power of death, but helped us seek and find you. Again and again, you offered us a covenant, and through the prophets taught us to hope for salvation. Father, you so loved the world that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior. He was conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, a man like us in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to those in sorrow joy. In fulfillment of your will, he gave himself unto death, but by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as his first gift to those who believed, to complete his work on earth and bring us the fullness of grace. Father, may this Holy Spirit sanctify these offerings. Let them become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ as we celebrate the great mystery which he left us in everlasting covenant. He always loved those who were his own in this world, and when the time came for him to be glorified by you, his heavenly Father, he showed the depth of his love. While there was supper, he took bread into his sacred hands. Looking up to you, his heavenly Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, giving it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Father, we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption. We recall Christ's death, his ascent among the dead, his resurrection, and his ascension to your right hand. And looking forward to his coming again, 
we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Lord, look upon this sacrifice, and by your Holy Spirit gather all who share this one bread and one cup into the one mystical body of Christ, the living sacrifice of praise. Lord, remember those for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially our religious leaders and patriarchs. Berent, our patriarch in Utrecht, Francis, Bishop of Rome, for me, your humble servant, and for bishops and clergy everywhere. Remember those who take part in this offering and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Father, in your mercy, grant also to us, your children, to enter into our heavenly inheritance with the Virgin Mary, your apostles and saints. Then in your kingdom, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we shall sing your glory with every creature through Christ our Lord, to whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, and him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Let us join together now and pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and shelter from all needless anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of our church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with us always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Stodirani, Mame, Amen. Vita me a moment. Sangus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi, Custodi Dari, Mame Am, Vita me a moment.
The Lord has prepared a feast for me, given wine in plenty for me to drink. <coughs> Let us pray. Lord, you have nourished us with this holy bread from heaven. Fill us with your spirit now and make us one in peace and love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration is ended for today. Let us go forth to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn today, Now Thank We All Our God. Now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way, with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. God love you all, and thank you for being with us today.